One of the most secretive spacecraft ever created by the U.S. is the Boeing X-37B. It has managed to set a record by spending more than 780 days in Earth's orbit with no plans to land yet. The small robotic unmanned space plane has been flying secret missions since 2010, conducting experiments and other classified missions. The X-37B robotic space plane began as a program in 1999 with NASA. They initially planned to develop two separate vehicles, an approach and landing test vehicle, or ALTV, and an orbital vehicle, or OV. NASA selected Boeing Integrated Defense Systems to design and develop an orbital vehicle, and in over four years, a total of $192 million was spent on the project, with NASA, the U.S. Air Force, and Boeing all contributing to the project. In 2004, NASA transferred the X-37 development to the Defense Advanced Research Products Agency, or DARPA, and it became a classified program. DARPA promoted the X-37 as part of the independent space policy that the U.S. Department of Defense has pursued since the 1986 Challenger disaster. Two years later, DARPA completed the ALTV portion of the program, executing a series of captive carry and free flight tests, successfully validated in flight dynamics, and extended the flight envelope beyond the low-speed, low-altitude test previously conducted by NASA. That same year, in 2006, the Air Force announced it would develop its X-37 vehicle, which carried the name X-37B or OTV. The design of the space plane was based on the original OV, which was never built. Boeing has been the primary contractor for this vehicle, and the company has built two X-37B space planes for the U.S. military. These vehicles were first operated by the Air Force, but now are flown by the Space Force, which was officially established in 2019. The vehicle has already flown a handful of missions. However, even though the Space Force disclosed some of the payloads that have been flown on board the X-37B, most of the plane's gear and the details of its orbital activities remain classified. This mystery around the vehicle has led many people to believe that the X-37B might be a secret space weapon designed to take out or capture satellites. However, military officials have denied this rumor, insisting that the vehicle is simply testing out technologies for future spacecraft and carrying various equipments up to space and back. It is an experimental test program to demonstrate technologies for a reliable, reusable, unmanned space test platform for the U.S. Air Force. Some of the technologies tested on this spacecraft include advanced guidance, navigation and control, thermal protection systems, avionics, high temperature structures and seals, and autonomous orbital flight, re-entry, and landing. Each mission on each flight has two official names, the OTV version and the USA variant, which is applied to most U.S. military missions. To this day, the X-37B has conducted six missions. The vehicle is designed to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it's designed to spend over 270 days in orbit at a time, and the X-37B has already gone past the nine-month marker multiple times. In the first mission, the OTV-1 stayed afloat for just 255 days, but the second and third missions lasted 469 and 674 days. The fourth mission, OTV-4, circled the Earth for a record-breaking 718 days before it landed in May 2017. However, the next mission, the OTV-5, managed to break the previous set record when it spent 780 days in orbit before returning to Earth. The sixth mission, the U.S. Space Force 7, launched on an Atlas V-501 rocket in May 2020. The mission conducted more experiments than prior X-37B flights, including two NASA experiments. The mission included several classified payloads, but some of its onboard experiments have been made public. One such experiment, deployed last year, tested the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory's photovoltaic radio frequency antenna module, a small device aimed at converting solar power into microwaves that can be beamed back to Earth from orbit. Other payloads launched on the OTV-6 include the U.S. Air Force Academy-designed Falcon Satellite 8 satellite, which carries five experimental payloads itself and the two NASA experiments designed to test the radiation's effects on plants and seeds and assess the effects of space on various materials. This mission managed to break yet another record when it was reported on July 7, 2020, that the vehicle had been in Earth's orbit for 781 days, breaking its previous record of 780 days. 
The vehicle is currently flying its sixth mission, and it's still unknown when it will return to Earth. Longevity is a key part of the X-37B program. Engineers are testing technologies for future satellites and want to see how this gear behaves in space for long periods. This is why each X-37B mission is so long, but this latest one is the longest mission that the X-37B has ever conducted. Maybe a future mission will surpass this one. The X-37B is an unmanned re-entry space vehicle based on NASA's X-37 design. It looks a lot like NASA's iconic space shuttle, but the two types of vehicles don't resemble each other in size. This vehicle is only 29 feet or 8.8 .8 meters long, with a wingspan of 15 feet or 4.6 meters. The original designers originally envisioned the shuttle carrying the smaller space plane to orbit, but eventually decided that launching it atop a rocket would be more economical. It is launched vertically with the help of a rocket to low Earth orbit, where it undertakes long-term space technology experimentation and testing. Upon receiving a command from the ground, the vehicle autonomously re-enters the atmosphere, descends, and lands horizontally on a runway. The X-37B features many elements that mark a first use in orbit for a space plane, including fully automated de-orbit and landing functions, flight controls and brakes that use all electromechanical actuation, and a body made of relatively light composite structure rather than traditional aluminum. It is one of the world's newest and most advanced re-entry spacecraft, designed to operate 150 to 500 miles or 241 to 800 kilometers above the Earth. It is the first vehicle since the space shuttle with the ability to return experiments to Earth for further inspection and analysis. Like most satellites, the X-37B generates electrical power from sunlight. The space plane is equipped with gallium arsenide solar cells, which deploy from the vehicle's payload bay after it reaches orbit. It is the smallest and lightest orbital space plane flown to date, with a launch mass of around 11,000 pounds or 5,000 kilograms, and is approximately one quarter the size of the space shuttle orbiter. One of the main things that the X-37B is used for is to conduct experiments and research on its missions. While the primary orbital agendas are classified, some of its onboard experiments have been discussed before launch. Most of the missions revolve around testing new space technologies. However, out of the many disclosed experiments, a few have managed to catch our attention. One of those experiments was from the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, which investigates transforming solar power into radio frequency microwave energy. The OTV-4 included a test of Aerojet Rocketdyne's XR-5A Hall Effect Thruster in support of the Advanced Extremely High Frequency Communication Satellite Program and a NASA investigation on the performance of various materials in space for at least 200 days. An experiment conducted while flying the OTV-5 was the Advanced Structurally Embedded Thermal Spreader 2, which measures the performance of an oscillating heat pipe. The OTV-6 is the first mission to use a service module to host experiments. The service module is an attachment to the aft of the vehicle, allowing additional experimental payload capability to be carried to orbit. On this mission, which is still ongoing, the vehicle deployed the Falcon Sat-8, which is a small satellite sent to space to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, it is sent to space to conduct several experiments in orbit. Two NASA experiments conducted on this mission allow NASA to closely monitor how space affects the material's sample plate and seeds used to grow food. Upon arrival, all of the experiments and research will be closely examined and they will have a clear vision of what the space environment can do to materials and seeds. Since the OTV program began, many countries have been concerned about it, including Russia and China. They considered that the X-37B could be used as an anti-satellite weapons platform. Russia believed that the space plane could carry nuclear warheads, and since it had two versions, a smaller and a larger one, it could carry three or six nuclear warheads. Even though the U.S. denied all these concerns, they have led China to develop its technologies to counter the U.S.'s potential militarization of space. Research from the China Academy of Space Technology claimed to have discovered a new technology to safeguard Chinese satellites from high-powered microwave weapons. In 2020, a spacecraft landed on a runway in western China after a two-day mission about which Chinese officials have said very little. This spacecraft has been kept a secret, and China called it an important breakthrough in reusable spacecraft research that is expected to offer convenient and low-cost round-trip transport for peaceful use of space. 
The space plane has been named Tianyin, and unlike the X-37B, it can be launched without the need for rocket fuel, meaning it can take off and land at airports. It is believed that the Tianyin is China's answer to the American OTV program. Just like the X-37B, the Chinese version is just as mysterious. They have been developing this space plane in secret with the hopes that they'll have a spacecraft ready whenever someone tries to destroy their satellites. This spacecraft will have a horizontal takeoff and landing mechanism, which will provide an advantage over the US version, which is rocket launched. With the belief that the X-37B can be deployed as a weapon to attack satellites, the Tenyan was created to protect the satellites if needed to hit back. Bye for now.